What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. Tonight, we take on the Miami Heat, and then a few nights later, we play them again, both times in Miami. So this is a road trip, same team twice. But um, go ahead, get out of the way. No LaMelo, no Cody, no Gordon. Um, they skipped the bullshit this time with the doubtfuls. It's just out. Cody's just out. So he's out with fucking quad soreness i just don't understand how sore somebody's leg can be at this point but hey whatever um the miami heat are gonna be without victor aladipo and omir yurtsevin um they're out caleb martin on the heat is questionable with a right quad contusion and Ter tyler hero is listed as questionable as well. So there are a few guys on the Heat that are questionable and ruled out. So the injury bug is kind of biting a lot of teams right now. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe it's some type of weird twin shit. Like, you know, our twin leg is hurt. They twin leg is hurt. I don't know, bro. It'd be that weird twin shit going on. But Cody need to hurry the fuck up. Um, like, leg soreness, bro. That shit just isn't a good enough excuse to be missing all these games. Soreness, your leg is sore. Like, bro. Don't y'all got all them fucking massage guns and shit for all that? Like, that's not even an injury. Soreness? That's it? Like, what the fuck? Anyway, um, yeah, we take this Miami Heat team on back to back. And, uh, I mean, if we can split a game with them, that would be nice coming down the stretch. Because, I mean, we're not that far back in the standings as you guys would think. Um, I mean, we're 15th in the East right now. But we're three and nine, they're four and seven. So, I mean, if we were to win both of these games back to back, we'd be five and nine, they'd be four and nine, and we would have leapfrogged them in the standings. Um, and obviously, I mean, if you split a game, we're four and nine, they're four and eight, like, we're not that far back as you guys would think. Well, the Heat are 12, so they're like far a game back out of tent two um i don't know we just need to get our guys back and kind of regroup um but like i've been saying if this shit gets too out of hand we just need to go ahead and just play the young guys and just say fuck this shit that's how i feel um if we can't put competitive groups out on the floor what are we doing um i'm interested to see who's gonna get a lot of minutes tonight versus bam is it going to be Nick? Is it going to be Plumlee? Um, I really would like to see Richards and, and even Williams get a chance. Seriously, man. Like, I just want to see the youth at this point, bro. Like, I don't want to see us play all these veterans and shoot 30-something percent and lose the game. It's just not what I want to see tonight. I prefer to see the young guys do the shit that we out there doing. It can't be too much worse. <sighs> Let's see. My prediction, I haven't given a prediction in a long time. I think... Hmm. I think Terry is definitely going to be our leading scorer tonight. Just with... Especially if Tyler Hero is out. Yeah, Terry's going to get off. Jimmy... Uh, it depends if Jimmy's guarding him. I don't know. Book Knight might have a good game to it. I'm predicting Book Knight 10 plus points. Because he's been having like six, seven points. I'm predicting him to have double-digit points. And Terry, 25 points tonight. That's my prediction. Just a little fun prediction. I don't know if we're going to win the game. I ain't going to predict that. But hopefully this shit just isn't a blowout, isn't a joke. Um, I guess that's all we can ask for at this point. It's just a competitive game that doesn't fall apart in the fourth quarter. I don't know, man. I, I definitely want to see us just remain competitive through all four quarters. Every single time, it's the same thing. We get a big lead, we lose it, collapse in the fourth, somehow lose by double digits. I mean, it's been the same shit, the same recipe, the same outcome every time. It fucking sucks to watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of it. But, yeah, I'm going to keep this shit short and sweet. Oh, also... Um, we're debuting our new uniforms tonight, the, uh, the like, little mint joints, but it says Charlotte on the front, like, CLT. People have been big on that for years. Like, you know, everybody was hating the Shah. Everybody's hating the Shah. I had to put that CLT up there. So, yeah. 
Um, we're going to be debuting those. They are pretty fire. The black and gold is definitely pretty fire. Excited to see that show on the home court with the with the mint floor. We kind of had that theme uh, a few times in the past years, like with the mint. Yeah, that shit, that shit hard. That shit hard. But anyways, just something short and sweet. Just to, you feel me, get y'all prepared for the game. Um, I probably will be home early, so I'll probably fuck around and go live whole game or second half probably for sure if it's a competitive game anyways i'll catch y'all then hold on y'all i got something else to add to this because i just found some new information so we just sent bryce mcgowns and mark williams back down to the greensboro swarm this shit makes no fucking sense to me like okay you send McGow. I mean, you send McGowan's never even played in Greensboro. I don't even think I tried to look up his uh, stats in Greensboro. I couldn't even find him, so I don't even know if he got sent down long enough to play a game. Mark Williams, you send him down. He dominates. Then you call him up, like he earns some type of playing time or something, and you send him right back down. He never. He never even got to play. Shit makes no fucking sense, bro. I mean, it, it 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 really makes no sense. Seriously, he dominates the G League. You call him up like you're gonna reward him with minutes. You don't send him right back down. What the fuck was the point in calling him up? You just wasted a week of his time. This team is just stupid, bro. Anyways, I just got that new information, so I wanted to include that in the video. Anyways, I'll catch y'all tonight. Peace.